Well, I thought what we would do today is break down a play, one of Charlie Whitehurst's play that really jumped out to me from the Tampa Bay game last week. And it wasn't one of the three or four plays where Pete Carroll said in the press conference yesterday, Charlie could have taken that shot. Now, remember uh, Chalk Talk last week, we got into Fox 2 XY hook. And I, I thought that was a play that illustrated that line that Hasselback has to walk of when to be aggressive, when to check it down. And in the game Sunday, it was very obvious that Charlie was playing conservatively was not going to take a shot, did not throw a ball over 15 yards, and that's fine to me. They're going to they're going to charge him to be more aggressive. They're going to challenge him to be uh, more thoughtful down the field and take some of those shots Sunday. But I'll tell you a play that jumped out to me more so than the decision-making is a little bit more of the feel. And, and to be honest with you, um, little brother Luke at dinner on Sunday night, he asked me uh, when we were at dinner, he said, Tell me something about Mike Holmgren. My little brother's a coach and offensive coordinator. He said, what did he do great? What was he as a coordinator, as a head coach? What were his strengths? Well, number one, he's a great play caller. But number two, he also understood the details. And when I saw this play, and I went back and watched it on film from the game, some of the little details totally jumped off the video screen to me regarding Charlie and just his understanding now as a fifth-year pro what you're trying to get out of the play. So this is a play a lot like Fox 2 XY Hook. This is called, you know, you can call it from either protection, basically 300 jet X slant spacing. This is a staple of the West Coast system. This is what Bill Walsh said, you know what, give me flanker drive, give me shallow cross, give me fox 2 XY hook, give me sprint right option, give me slant spacing is a way, and you'll see many West Coast teams, all the West Coast teams always use this. And, and number one and first and foremost, when you run that slant, okay, in this case an X slant, you always want three receivers you know, be it tight ends, be it running backs, you're spacing on the other side. So in this case, the Seahawks go three energetic spacing. They motion the tight end over to get the one, two, three guys that are going to release and space the field properly. So you got a slant. Your tight end came over. He came on a hole shot. You got a hitch outside. Your fullback's free releasing. So as you can see, you really space the field out. One, two, three. Four. This is a lateral progression read. Your running back's going to check, and then he's going to come out just in a real short little hook. But this is a lateral progression read, going one to two to three to four. Now, what jumped out to me with Whitehurst, when you go back and you watch that play, it is the little things. It's the details. The strong safety comes down, and he knows immediately he's got two on one. He's got no shot of that slant route. But what, Matt, what Mike Holmgren and Jim Zorn and those guys just ingrained in you is it doesn't matter. Even if you know you're not going there, your eyes and your vision has to be locked in there because that then influences the rest of the zone defenders. If you don't stare down this slant, you're not going to get the linebackers in their spacing to get into the spots where you have your second and your third and your fourth option. So Charlie unfortunately on this play rushes he gets to his third step and his eyes are already off the slant the linebackers haven't moved he whips his head around thinking well I'm gonna come right back to this to my number two but because he doesn't spend time on number one and influence that defense and influence the zone defenders well guess what they get locked up they get locked up they get locked up he tucks the ball he has to scramble one of those runs that went nowhere so feel details slow yourself down Go through your progressions. Utilize your eyes. You watched Drew Brees and Matt Ryan last night. Incredible. And they run this play a number of times. Their ability to manipulate the defense with their eyes, with their timing, with their precision, all critical components. And just one play in particular where Whitehurst has got to grow as a quarterback.